Hi, welcome to another edition of the Alan Rosenberg Show. This one's going to be different, kind of cool. So I hope you all had a happy holiday. I had a happy holiday. Got some pretty cool gifts. Uh, actually, my son got this one, uh, and he gave it to me because I do ride on two wheels, but I'm not cool enough to ride a Harley Davidson, yet I do ride a Honda scooter. But it does go about 100 miles an hour, and I did have to get a motorcycle license. So I'm working my way up to Harley Davidson, so he gave me this hat. But one of the gifts um, that a member of the family got this year is really, really cool. And you may have heard of these things. So it came all the way. This is the actual packaging. Now I'm going to hide some of these addresses to protect everybody. This came all the way from Kazakhstan, the former Soviet Union. And you can see all the stamps and all of that. Pretty cool. So this package came all the way from Kazakhstan. And you may have heard about it. It's hard to believe, but, you know, rock and roll music and popular music is all over the world, right? And it's in advertising and movies and everything. Hard to believe that in the Soviet Union, in the 60s, 70s, probably even early 80s, it was banned. You could not listen to the Rolling Stones or other popular bands. Uh, and it was a serious, serious offense in the Soviet Union. So you may have heard of this, where to listen to popular music would be in the underground. Um, and these things would get smuggled and distributed in the underground at great, great risk. Where if you got caught, you would get sent to jail um, without exaggeration. But they didn't have the records. Like, for instance, the one we're going to show you. This is the normal version, the original 45 of the Rolling Stones bitch, which was the flip side of brown sugar. In the Soviet Union, you couldn't get this, even on the illicit market. Somehow, they would make their own records, these illicit records. And this is an actual X-ray bones record from the Soviet Union. That's right. That's how they used to do it. They would take old x-rays that they would get from hospitals and clinics, and somehow they would etch the songs into the x-rays. And this is an actual one from Kazakhstan. Pretty cool, right? They would etch them 78 RPM on an x-ray. And this... Then they would cut it in the form of a record. You could see the outline. So on this side, which is not where the grooves are, you could see the Soviet writing on the bottom of it. No groove on here. But if you flipped it over, there is the groove. And there's some handwritten in the middle of it. Now to get that spindle hole, they would actually take a cigarette and burn the x-ray. And you can kind of see some outline. Now I'm going to, I have this light back here. And let's do a little sciences experiment. You might be able to see, this is actually a cool x-ray. And uh, let's see if this, I can get this to work. You can there, you can kind of see it. It's a skull on this one. This is an actual, there it is. So there, you can kind of see it. There's a skull x-ray of an actual person's skull. So somebody got this x-ray from a clinic or a hospital and etched the Rolling Stones bitch. This is the Rolling Stones bitch into this x-ray. And then they cut this giant sheet of x-ray into a record to play at 78 RPM on a turntable. Now, obviously... This was, this is really fine, and it's really, uh, so it's pretty cool, right? It's pretty, it's really fine. You can't play it a lot, uh, maybe 10 times, apparently, and then it would just disintegrate. So it's really fragile even to hold it, and apparently the quality was terrible. It sounded kind of like uh, those old wax Edison cylinders. Um, I obviously can't play this. I don't have 78 RPM, and... Uh, my stylus would go right through this thing. So we're going to frame it, and maybe we'll frame it with the actual uh, Rolling Stones uh, 45. But could you imagine in the, Soviet, in the Soviet Union, this was how they would play the Rolling Stones and other popular music.
on an x-ray. Pretty incredible. So that's a pretty neat gift. This one shipped all the way from Kazakhstan. And um, imagine a really, really hard to find a Rolling Stones x-ray bones record. That's what they call this thing. Um, so I thought that would be pretty interesting to actually see an actual one. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you had a great holiday. As always, if you enjoy my videos, please, please hit subscribe and like and tell your friends so my channel could grow. That would be great. Uh, and uh, please send your comments. Do you ha have you ever seen this thing? Have you? Do you have one? Um, pretty neat. Apparently, when you go on eBay, uh, they're out there, although I haven't seen too many Rolling Stones ones. Um, but this one actually shipped actually from Kazakhstan, which is pretty neat. Um, anyway, thanks for tuning in. Please hit subscribe, and as I always like to say, uh, stay safe, stay healthy out there, and stay tuned, and I'll check you out on my next video. Have a good one.